devastating scene as rescuers dig for survivors near the epicenter. Here in the Bay Area, we, of course, are no stranger to earthquakes. With more insight and context on the quake, here's meteorologist Darren Pack. Darren. Ryan, there's one big similarity between this earthquake and the most recent big earthquake that did destruction here at Loma Prieta back in 1989, and that was the intensity. This one was a 6.8. Loma Prieta was a 6.9. And just to show you what they look like side by side, if you plot them on the map like the USGS has done already on the index, which shows you how strong the shaking was, what we saw happen yesterday now, our time, was an earthquake that registered a 6 out of 10 for that part of Morocco. Anything from 6 and above can do a lot of damage. Let's put Loma Prieta side by side here. And you can see what our earthquake in 1989 looked like. We've got a 6.9 here at home on this side and the 6.8 over here. That's where the similarities end. If you want to see some of the more important differences, we'll put this into some context. We're all familiar with our fault here. That's the San Andreas. It is a transform fault. That's where each plate moves side by side one another. You get kind of a movement where the one side of the plate moves north or south. If we go to the global view on this, you can see these are color coded. The red ones are transverse faults like ours. But there are so many other kinds of faults across the globe. The one that this snapped on was not a transverse fault. It was a subduction where you've got convergence between two plates. You see the blue line here shows you where the African plates moving north and colliding with the Eurasian plate. And off of that, you get all of these other faults that then splinter into other subduction faults. The high Atlas Mountains that Andre was talking about earlier are down here. Those are oriented in the way that Africa is getting pushed up into Europe. And these mountains have formed because the two plates are colliding. And, and they don't look all that big here on the Google Earth map, but they're almost as high as the Sierra. These mountains are like 13,000 feet high. The epicenter was in the mountains. This was another way to raise those mountains up higher. You can see where the strongest shaking was down here at the base of those mountains, very sparsely populated. Marrakesh sits out here. Remember the color code. This is the same Mercalli scale that we were looking at in the first map. There's more yellows here for Marrakesh. Yellow is six on the scale. Six can still damage buildings. And the huge difference is, well, we've got our liabilities here at home when it comes to construction. That's a known fact. It's nothing like what you see in this part of the world where construction codes are nowhere near what we have here at home. And that's why some of the fatality numbers are coming in so much higher. See what the forecast in a few minutes, guys, back to you. Yeah, I mean, in Loma Prieta, I think 64 people were killed. And out here we're talking thousands. Yeah, it's bad news. Well,